to talk to you a little bit today about um, how I do magazine harvest and I actually I use a variety of magazines because I also have a pretty wide variety of how I use my um, things I harvest from the magazines so one is um, images which I can use either to create um, you know funny little collages by combining the elements or I use in my daily planner to just kind of illustrate my day so I sort out um, things I find in in magazines to help illustrate that and some of my favorite magazines for that are Breathe and Wellness Mantra uh, the Real Simple magazines are good for that. Uh, Daphne Styri has quite a bit too. Um, magazines like that that have fun, uh, like this kind of an image that I can use in either an art journal or my daily planner. Um, so that is one thing that I collect uh, with my out of my magazines. I also collect words. Or, or quotes, phrases um, that I like that I will use in my artwork or in my um, daily planner, daily pages in my planner or uh, art journals or all kinds of different things that I'll use words for. So I save words. And then I also just save um, colors and patterns that I like and these are mainly to use in my artwork so then I sort them in by color into I have these plastic envelopes that I like because you know they hold just a nice small amount of paper um, so I'll you know have like blues and reds and yellows and browns and then there's sometimes I sort them out more specifically than that even like um, grays and blacks and uh, dark green, light green. Another thing I like to collect are faces or face parts even. Um, got large and small here or whole bodies occasionally. Um, and those I use in a multiple ways also. I use them, they're kind of fun to use like I can make my own wonky characters by, you know, using eyes from this face, a mouth from another face, etc. Um, or I can use as is in uh, one of my daily pages or an art journal. Um, so there's lots of ways that I use those as well. So those are kind of the basic categories that I use to collect. So now come along with me as I harvest some, uh, go through some magazines and harvest what I want. As a collage artist, I am always um, have my eyes out for interesting papers and one of the places that I like to get those is from magazines and so I just thought I'd go through um, some magazines with you, do a little magazine harvest, kind of show you some of the things that I look for. Um, I'm just going to go through, I've got a stack, I, I'm sure we won't entirely get through the stack, but I have some things I've accumulated that I need to go through, and I do have some colors I'm looking for for some uh, upcoming projects, so I just thought I'd go through that with you. So I have here a college um, magazine, um, it's from a college one of my kids went to, and they still send a thing, a mailing from time to time. So, one thing I notice right here off the bat on the cover is I always look for these big title words because they can make some really cool strips. Um, and I think especially like when I do birds and uh, like their feathers. I like to have some neat paper, but I don't necessarily want to recognize this word. I don't have a use for this this big word, so I'll just kind of cut it up and maybe into multiple strips like this, and then I'll use that in some of these colors. Um, I also really watch for color, 
and this part is going to be more useful to me. Let's turn that down a little bit more. And I may even cut those in, in half again. And you see if I use those in as feathers in a bird, they're not even aware that it that it ever said anything. So it's just kind of an interesting graphic um, design to have. So I'm going to keep that. Um, this color is interesting to me. So I'm going to keep some little hunks of that. I keep um, little envelopes of sorted paper. So I will take my yellow envelope and I'll just stick that in there. There's a brighter future awaits um, are words that I could see possibly using at some point in time. So I'll put them in my word stash. words but they're probably a little too big for where I would use them. I'd be more likely to use them in an art journal. Um, I like these shapes but I probably will not use them. These words I could see being interesting. Probably won't use them all together, but both people and together are words that I would be interested in using. Okay, here I'm looking at these colors. I I have need for some peachy pink, and I'm kind of seeing some interesting colors in here. I'm going to save that part in my colored papers. be interesting, this uh, woman racing that could have some meaningful elements. Look at this color that I've been looking for. Sometimes I'll use um, text. Not to, not for what it's saying, but just as a little patch of color.
So that's that one. Now this next one, it's a World Vision uh, mailer that we get. And again, I'm looking for collage. I'm thinking this. Um, always forget to check the other side. Getting this bit of yellow here would be great. this adorable little face. So. And my face is dash. So this could be this little portion here. I'm picturing being some more bird wings. I do a lot of collage birds, so. So if you see just that little part with the lines, I'm gonna also save some of this color. This color. Very beautiful. Okay, I have a project. I know I want this. down here for. So we'll set that aside. Kind of my goal, if it's going to be in my art, is that, you know, you would not recognize where it came from, even if you'd seen an image in a magazine. Um, so by the time this is in something else, you wouldn't think, oh, that's from that picture. So that's kind of my my goal in that. If I needed blues, there would be some good blues here, but I have enough blues. However, this one, this side has, check both sides. This, I really like this right in here. And I like it almost, it almost looks like fireworks or something. Um, with these, I guess they're corn stalks. So it's, that is a very interesting little piece and I love the color also. Okay. There's some nice big words here. I do know that I'm planning on doing a blue jay piece in the near future, so, and again, I really like I really like having these bits of words and just the pattern that they provide. So there again, I have some really fun strips to use.
down sorting all those bits that I harvested into their um, appropriate color organized envelopes um, so that when I am working it's easy for me to just grab the color I need and and find the pieces Now I'm showing how I would use some of those bits and how um, perfect like the little cut up word strips work on feathers and some of the buildings that I cut out and how I would go ahead and use those in a collage piece. So I have this uh, meadow lark that has a base layer done but I'm adding these um, fun bits on there just to add some interest and and I love it when you are challenged to look and see what all um, is within the collage piece. Here's the finished piece. Hey, I've been cleaning out some things and um, came across these old magazines that my kids had had. And so I'm now going to go through these. Let's see. Don't see the year off here. Oh, 1991. Okay. So they're a little bit old. Um, but I'm going to look and see what they have in here that I can use for collage.
So now I have my papers all cut out of magazines and sorted out into my envelopes and I am ready to be making some art and having fun in my planner daily pages. So thanks for watching and come again next time to see what I've done.